What's going on y'all? My name is Dawson Brewer, your favorite realtor in Austin, Texas. Today's video is part two of the Carolyn Neighborhood Review. Now, if you haven't watched part one, I'll leave it up here on the screen. You don't necessarily need to watch part one to understand part two, because in this video, I'm just gonna show you all the rest of the builders that I didn't cover on the first video. And that is gonna be Richmond Homes, Brightland Homes, and DR Horton. I've already spoke about the neighborhood amenities and about the fourth builder Chesmar Homes in part one so this part we're just gonna look at the three other builders that I haven't covered in the first video if you are looking to move to the Austin Texas area either you're looking now or you're looking sometime in the future don't hesitate to reach out I'll leave my contact information on the screen and in the description down below please reach out text call me I also have a link to my calendar and that way we can schedule a zoom call and go over all your real estate needs with Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, I'm gonna take y'all on a tour to the Irvine. The Irvine is a four bed, two bath, 1796 square foot home starting at 375. This is the only DR Horton home that I'm showing in this video. The other one had a bunch of realtors in it. The builders were hosting a realtor event. I wasn't able to get good footage in the other one. DR Horton is one of the fastest, highly rated spec builders in America. The prices of homes in this neighborhood for DR Horton is between $350,000 to $414,000. And what they're currently offering is up to $10,000 in closing cost assistance. And you also get to add up to $350,000 to $414,000 dollars now keep in mind the more homes that are sold the less that are available those prices are more than likely to increase i don't know yet deal horton probably doesn't know yet um they these prices do change on a weekly and bi-weekly basis so the longer you wait the more expensive it will be to own Currently, they're offering up to $10,000 in closing cost assistance, which can be applied to buy down your mortgage rate. Now, talking about mortgage rate, if you are a government-backed buyer, meaning that you are a VA buyer, FHA, or USDA, DR Horton is offering a 5.5 to 599 fixed government rate. As of today's recordings, the interest rates are around 7%. And at a fixed government rate of 5.5%, if you're using a VA loan, meaning that's $0 down, you're looking at a mortgage payment of roughly $3,100. The reason why it's so high is because property taxes are a bit higher in Maynard. This neighborhood is between 2.25% to 2.5% on your property taxes. However, if you are a disabled veteran, if you have 100% disability, you have no property taxes on your primary residence. That will bring your monthly mortgage payment to about $2,100. You save $1,000 a month on your property taxes. If you are between 10 to 90% disabled, you could exempt up to 12% of your property taxes. And if you are not a veteran, or if you don't have at least 10% disability, well, you could apply the homestead exemption, which will help in your taxes. DR Horton also has 40 homes left as of today's recording. They already sold 65 this year, which if that gives you any type of ideas of how fast homes are selling in this neighborhood. And they're also starting on 150 more homes in about two to three months. DR Horton also has an additional feature. You could select up to two of these options. You could select a fridge, washer dryer combo, garage opener, or blinds. Me personally, if I don't have fridge, washer, and dryer, I'm picking those two because those two will be the most expensive items out of the four that you can choose from. But if you are bringing a fridge or washer and dryer, then you have the option to add a garage opener or blinds. But then again, I would still go with the fridge or washer and dryer option because even if you already have these, you could always turn around and sell it and you would probably make more money on that sell and then you could just apply it towards a garage opener or blinds. Blinds are about 35 to 50 per window depending on the quality of blinds you want. And the garage opener could be between four to $600 to install, depending on who you choose to install it. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at the Brightland home model called the Willow. This is a four bed, three bath home, 2,500 square feet, 
features two car garage, a game room, and this one is listed at $515,000. Now, what's a bonus about Brightland is that every single home is gonna have different finishes, so not every single home is going to be finished the same. In this neighborhood, the HOA fee is $150 per quarter. That's every three months, you'll be paying $150 for the HOA. Brightland Homes has three to five bedroom homes in the 1850 to 3,050 square foot range, and they are ranging from the prices of $410,000 to $530,000. These will be the higher end homes in the Carolyn neighborhood. To give you an example of how much a $410,000 home will cost you, well, if you take advantage of the $25,000 flex cash program using their Buying a $410,000 home through this builder will cost you about $3,200 per month, and that is with a 3.5% down payment. And that is also using the flex cash to buy down the interest rate to 5.25% as of today's recording. Again, we're at that 7% range. Now, if you didn't take advantage of this rate buy down, you would be looking at $3,800 without the flex cash to buy down the rate. So you might as well use that 25 grand that you're getting the flex cash to buy the rate down. What I love about the Brightland Homes is that they do pay attention to quality. They are a higher quality type of builder. A lot of features comes in their homes. They really they take really good care of these homes. As you can see, this is just a loft, an extra little game room spot right off to the kitchen. And if you just add a closet to this room, you could technically call this an additional bedroom. So Brightland Homes has 10 floor plan designs. There's not gonna be one floor plan that is similar to the next. So if you're someone who does not like cookie cutter homes, and if you're someone who doesn't really care for the HOA, Brightland Homes would be a good happy median. Although they might be cookie cutter on the outside, or at least appear to be cookie cutter on the outside, no two home is gonna be the same. They're gonna have different finishes. Also, if you got to this point in the video, leave me a comment down below on any questions that you might have so far. If it's about the Carolyn neighborhood, if it's about DR Horton or Brightland Homes, the two homes I already showed y'all, or if it's about anything real estate related in general, please ask those questions down below. Also, let me know what y'all think about the current interest rate, 7%. I know if we took the last 30, 40 years, 7% really isn't that high. Uh, it actually balances out to be around that 7% range over 30, 40 year average. Are y'all renters? Are y'all looking to buy your first home? Are you looking at upsize, downsize? And also, what do y'all think about this bathroom? In my opinion, this is probably my favorite bathroom and walk-in closet combination out of this entire video. That's just my opinion, but let me know what y'all think. What are y'all real estate goals? What do y'all look for in a home? What, what's more important to y'all? Is it the neighborhood? Is it the school district? Aside from the price and the size of a home, what is the most important features in a home? Give me your top two to three. Is it the school district? Is it the neighborhood? Maybe you need that gaming room. You know, maybe you need that backyard. Maybe you need that office spot. What are your two to three most important features in a home? Leave me your opinions in the comment section down below. Mine personally, it has to be that I have to have an office or some sort of working space because I do a lot of work from home. That's one of my most important features in the home. This is the Richmond home model. This one is the Larimar, which is actually the most popular model. It sits at 1770 square feet. Asking price is $410,000. It is a three bed, three bath model. And what I love about Richmond Homes is this. There are two floor plans that offers an RV garage. These sell really, really fast. Unfortunately, I was not able to get any type of footage on the RV model as uh, there were workers inside of it and it just wasn't show ready. But they are very popular models. I mean, everybody flocks to them when they're available and they sell out really fast. Uh, the, the RV garage is considered a third parking spot and this is the only builder in this neighborhood that offers that feature. They're 15 feet tall and I mean, you don't even need an RV to actually appreciate that. 
I've seen people turn these into lofts. Some people turn them into workshops. I've seen somebody turn it into an extra storage unit. I've seen a car lift in one of them. It is really for all types of folks. You don't need to have an RV to have it. So some more information about Richmond American Homes. As of today's recording, they're offering a 499% interest rate on a 30 year fixed government loan. You do have to meet certain requirements, but these requirements, they're not that stingent. And they're also offering $5,000 in closing cost assistance. They're, they're offering to pay for your title costs and they're also including a fridge, washer and dryer. They have a total of 120 lots that are coming in the next two to three years. Uh, so they'll be in this neighborhood for quite a while. So back on to the Larmar floor plan. This house does seem a lot bigger than 1770 square feet. As I'm walking throughout this house, you just notice a lot more space. Again, it's a three bedroom, three bath, 1770 square foot, one story home. And this is also the most popular floor plan. This one goes again for $410,000. Reach out to me if you'd like to schedule a tour, if you want to tour the neighborhood, the model homes, and we can get that done. So this one is called the Amalite. This is a five bedroom, three and a half bath home, sitting at 2,955 square feet, starting at $563,000. Let's start with the front private quarters. It features a loft with its own entrance and that way this can become its own completely separate private quarters. So it comes with the loft, the bedroom and the bathroom. This is perfect for the in-laws, perfect for any guests that you have. If you wanna run an Airbnb out of this home, it's its own private quarters. So that's what makes this home model popular. And also as I'm taking y'all throughout this house, pay attention to the black and white. Your home won't come with these type of colors, but I just want you to pay attention of how simple black and white colors can play so powerfully off each other. So we're walking through the large family room and notice the amount of cabinet and counter space that you have in this kitchen. There's even a private butler's nook, its own little separate section to add to the counter space in the cabinets. This house comes with a lot of storage. This house also comes with gutters. In Texas, not a lot of new builders have gutters on their homes, especially the, the spec and inventory builders, but Richmond American Homes, uh, they have gutters on their homes. So it's always a plus. It's not a requirement in Texas, but it's always a plus to have. This master bedroom is massive. As you can see, you could comfortably fit a king size bed with a lot of big furniture and still have the space to move around and that's also capped off by the master bathroom the his and her sink separated from each other and then of course with the big bedroom and bathroom you got to have the large walk-in closet look at the amount of shelves that you're going to have along the walls and if you still wanted to add shelves you still do have space to do that and it's always a plus to have a private commode if you got to this point in the video, let's connect, you know, reach out to me. My information is down below. We, we, we could schedule a one-on-one -on -one call. We could talk about the sale of your house or the purchase of your, your new house, whatever your real estate needs are. Just reach out and I'll be able to help you out to the best of my abilities. One of the features that I look for in a home is a large laundry room. And this laundry room, absolutely fell in love with it. Comes with its own sink, uh, pattern tile, and then you have the shelves, the cabinets, and it's just a wide space. It almost feels like it's a separate room. This is the final tour of the video, but make sure you stay until the end of the video and I will let y'all know what the next drop is going to be. All right. I want to thank y'all for making it to the end of the video. And just like I told y'all in the video, I do have an announcement. I am going to be dropping a bonus video in the next two to three days. And that one is going to be about one of my favorite grocery stores in the city of Austin, which is H Mart. My wife and I, when we decided to move to Austin, that was one of the requirements is that one, we either needed a Chinatown or two, we needed to be in close proximity to a H Mart. Thank y'all for getting to the end of the video. That means a lot to me. I hope y'all had a lot of good information in this video. Now, if you're a local, let me know your opinion down below on what areas I should cover. Also, if you're a local, 
comment below on what neighborhood you live in, what you like about that neighborhood, what you dislike about that neighborhood. Let me know down below what you think. If you're looking to move to Austin, I haven't said this enough, but please reach out to me. I'll leave my contact information down below. We can schedule a call, we can schedule a Zoom, whether you're a buyer, whether you're a seller, even if you're not looking to buy today or within the next month or so, I would be more than happy to help you out, all right? So I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.